hello everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be week two of memmy mondays this is a youtube pop that i am hosting along with some other talented ladies they'll be listed down below you guys make sure you check out everyone's video this is a youtube pop and you are going to be blown away with tons of inspiration and so many pretty things so um this is the second year that i'm hosting this this is week two like i said this is what i did for week one Guys, we will be having giveaways. I think almost every channel is doing a giveaway. There's actually some people, um, Alicia, who is a little paper crafter. She's down below. She is actually doing a giveaway every week on her channel, okay? So you guys want to check that out. Pay attention. Make sure you watch through these videos, guys, because the ladies are doing some awesome things. Another one of my friends, she's giving some stuff away on Instagram as well as here on YouTube. So she's going to be having two giveaways. I myself will be having a giveaway here on YouTube at the end of the month. So I'll be announcing all the details for that on the last Monday of August. Okay, guys? So make sure that you are joining in, you're tuning in, you're really watching these videos and you're paying attention to what the ladies are saying what their rules are so that you guys can win these awesome giveaways okay um i'm gonna be giving away probably a 25 dollar paypal for youtube here and then on instagram i actually have um four sponsors right now and they are going to be sponsoring my giveaway so i'm going to have so far four giveaways on instagram okay i'm sure sponsors are going to keep coming so we may have some more but I'm super excited, guys. I hope that you guys are enjoying this hop. Make sure you guys let me know down below if you're enjoying the hop, if you watched week one, um, and what you guys think about the YouTube hop, okay? Again, the ladies are super talented. This is the second year I'm hosting it. The ladies last year were super talented as well. Check out that hashtag on both Instagram and here on YouTube, and you guys will be directed to some awesome videos, okay? So, again, this was week one. I will link this video down below. I made an acetate memory decks flip and it came out adorable this week i really struggled i was like i had an idea of what i wanted to do you guys and it did not come together and i'm so sad about it but it's okay because i'm happy with what i made and i'm gonna try that idea that i had again okay so for week two this is what i created look at how adorable you open this up here. I bought these little things off Amazon Amazon over a year ago, guys. And they've been sitting in my package with a bunch of dyes that I recently hauled. I'll link that video if you guys want to check it out. And look at how cute. So this opens up. It's a little matchbox. And then when you open it, you guys know I got to add the floofies. I just think it just ups it. It looks so cute. Let me move her out the way. Get out the way, girl. You're not the star of the show today. Let me get her over here. But I do want to show you guys how they look side, to, side by side. So it's just a cute little match box. And I actually been playing with my mold that I had for in my stash for a couple of years. I painted this. Um, this gold is actually some Dollar Tree uh, paint, metallic paint. And then these are my little 50 cent. I love these. They're my favorite paints, guys. Apple Barrel. The matte paints are the bomb. I use Cameo Pink. And then the white is so pretty, you guys. So I just embellished this with um, some seam binding, a bow. I wanted to do it really simple. And I actually have another one of those um, molds that I want to possibly put on top of that to embellish that even more. Okay. So this is what it looks like. And it houses this. So I just tied some seam binding. This collection is the Dulce Collection by Prima. Like I said, guys, I'm obsessed. It is discontinued. It's so hard to find. I have some in my stash, and i just been hoarding it, and I decided to use it for my projects this month. But honestly, I think that I should have went with another collection just so that I could play freely, you know, and then just go crazy. But this is what I created, guys. I did like a little flip type of thing, accordion fold thing, and I got a bunch of mini memory decks cards, okay? So this is actually a silhouette file, a couple of silhouette files. I'll link them down below if anyone is interested. And so this thing got really thick on me, as you can tell. It was supposed to be so much thinner. And I love using 110-pound cardstock on my um, projects because I just, you know, love how sturdy it makes them. 
But it ended up becoming a thicker than a snicker. And I'm not mad at it, though. It's really cute. And then when you turn it around, there's some on the back as well, okay? So there's a total of six little mini memmies. And um, I'm going to leave these ones on the back like this so that the recipient can, you know, uh, um, embellish them. And I did embellish one. I guess you can say I embellished it. And so I thought it would be nice for us to embellish these together, okay? So, yeah, I should have used my carousel because I have a lot of carousel. I have a nice amount to where I could really play with it. And I have a lot of the elements. I'm thinking about using this piece here. Um, I don't know how much I have of this in my stash. I, I hope that I have another um, chipboard and... What do you call it? Um, ephemera pack somewhere in my stash. But I don't know. So I'm just not going to worry about it. I'm going to, I'm just trying my best to use what I have. You know what I mean? And make the best of it, guys. But this collection is so beautiful. And you guys know how I am about stuff. Like, I'm like, oh, God, I don't have enough. And that's not a good feeling. I know I want to stick that donut there, I think. I think I want to stick that donut there. God, I wish I had many ephemeras of this collection. I fussy cut some things like this little cupcake. I may add the cupcake there. I'm trying not to go over the edge. I went over the edge on here because I don't want it to. I forgot that it's going to be like folded when I was embellishing. So I do like this here. I wonder if I should just keep them all kind of the same. Let's just stick this down, though. I do want to add a sentiment. But the sentiments are kind of too big in the ephemera pack. Um, and I don't want to use a chipboard because this thing is already chunky. And if I add chipboard, it is not going to close. So let me see what I could pull. Like, maybe I can cut out some of this. Everything seems to be too big. I wonder if I have a 6x6 six six in my stash. I don't know. I just found um, one of my packages. And it had all this stuff in one package. I bought it from a D-stash. And it was a bomb D-stash, obviously, because it had all the stuff. So, I don't know. I wasn't planning on using this. I was planning on keeping this in the horror boat forever. You are mean. Uh, I mean, I could add these. They look like a really nice size, you guys. But I don't know what that means. You know what I mean? It could be like, yo mama. You know, you know, I don't know. Oh my God. Why didn't I think of this before I got on here? Um, maybe I should pull a sticker book from somewhere else. You guys know those Maggie Holmes sticker books? They always come in handy. I should have just did a project share, you guys. Why am I making things hard on myself? All right, where's that book at? I just got so many things that I'm working on at once. I can't find anything. Let me see, guys. Do we really need a sentiment? I really don't think we do. Ooh, I would hate to cut this out. But wouldn't that be so cute if I cut the word circus? And maybe admit one. Yeah, we're going to go for it, you guys. Because why not? I want to cut out this word circus because it is too cute. And I hope that this works out nicely. But yeah, I hope that you guys are enjoying this YouTube hop. I can't wait to see what the ladies make 
Oh, that's so cute. Doesn't that look perfect, you guys? And then let's back this on some gold paper. I was not planning on this, but here we are. Okay. I like to keep little scraps of this. I always love to put sentiments, back it on something to give it a little something extra. It just looks so plain to me without it. Oh, and I also wanted to add like little gems. You guys remind me. Don't let me leave here without doing it. Okay. So, let me cut down just a little bit. I don't want it to be too big. I just need a nice little pop of gold. You know what I mean? Okay. We can go with that. Again, I got to embellish this really flat. Can't add any dimension. I love adding dimension. Just do it like right there, I guess. Maybe a little higher. So this collection does have holographic hollow in it. But I love gold. So I'm mixing both hollow and gold. And you guys let me know what you think about that. Is that like cringe for you? Okay. Dulce. Yes. Dang, why did I cut that? Wait, this is not the right piece. That's a whole nother piece, you guys. I kept this for the florals. I can't cut that. It's so beautiful. Okay, so let's go back to this one. We got bonus. We got love here. Admit one. We got to use this admit one. Like, come on. Have to. These are so cute, you guys. You have to try making mini memory decks cards. I'm obsessed with them. I actually have a tutorial, a very old tutorial that is an oldie but goodie. I love that tutorial. And I made some really cute memory decks cards using some dies. So I will link that down below for you guys in case you want to check it out. So we can do the admit one, I guess. I feel like it's not giving. Don't want to use bonus. Love, maybe? Let's try the love and see how it looks. It might be too tiny. But I feel like the other one is just too much of the same color. Save all these little elements, guys. You can cut that and... I like to maximize my paper or whatever I have, guys. You know, y'all know I don't waste nothing. Yeah, we'll do the love instead. I like that it's smaller. So I'm just gonna glue this on my cardstock. My gold cardstock. But the way that I craft, guys, I love to, like, have things coordinate, like, kind of like a set. And so, everything that I'm making this month with my design team projects, I want to have them be, like, you know, the same collection, vibe, whatever. So, I kind of struggle every month with what collection I'm going to use. Okay, 
That's cute, you guys. I think that's a really nice size, too. Yeah, I'm going to leave these very simple. So, again, this is this was supposed to be a, like, a mini album in a pocket. And I got it from the, the Silhouette Design Store. But... I ended up making it extra, extra chunky, and it wouldn't close. All right, let's do this one. Just going to put some hot glue on the back of the donut. Got to keep in mind that this is going to be accordion folded. And I'm thinking about putting that cupcake there. And we need a sentiment. What was this one again? What was the, what did I do with it? I just tossed it. You guys have um a little container with like just a bunch of stuff, like die cuts and stuff. We can do the admit one. I feel like I need to add a ticket though. How cute is this, you guys? Let me cut this. Because it's just screaming, cut me. This is so cute. What about something like that? I feel like it's covering up too much of the donut. All right, we're just going to go with the admit, admit one. I can't believe I cut that out. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But again, I'm so excited to see what the other ladies are going to create. Um, make sure you guys play along. This is how you're going to win the giveaways, especially on Instagram. I am going to be pulling winners from the people who use the hashtag Boochies with an S, Memmy Mondays, okay? It's going to be linked down below. And all you have to do to participate in the giveaway is to tag me on Instagram and use the hashtag. And you'll have a chance to win. I want to give a special thank you to my sponsors because they did not have to do that. And I'm excited. We got four so far. So that's going to be four extra winners. So guys, make sure you play along and use that hashtag. Okay. See, just a little sliver of gold. Hey, where'd my cupcake go? Here it goes. Maybe like that. Let's just go for it. I'm trying not to make this video too long, but it looks like it's going to be a little long. All right. And again, I'm just doing it really flat. Dang it. Act like that, like you didn't see that. And I'm just gonna put that cupcake right there. You can see that. Act like you didn't see that either. Mind your business. Okay. Don't you hate it when you... It's like looks perfect to you. And then when you put it together... It just doesn't look the same. You move like the placement or whatever. Okay. That's good. So isn't that cute, you guys? And then I'm going to add... Some little jummies. I hope this video doesn't get too long. There they go. I was about to go crazy looking for them. Let's 
So I got this from Hobby Lobby in the bead section. And they're the perfect size little stones. Come on. There we go. So I'm just going to do a couple. One, two, three. And then let's put these on here. You can use diamond dots, would look really cute. I just really want to add some more gold to this. So this is what we're going with. Like that. And then maybe I can do like one right here. And one right there. But again, I want to leave those other ones. Blank. In case the recipient wants to embellish some of their own. And then let's add some on this. I'm going to do one right here. Right here. And I don't know, maybe some right here. It's so hard trying to figure out where I want to put gems sometimes. And this is a glitter paper, so you definitely want to use a good glue. I love Barely Arts and Nouveau glue. They're my top two. Okay. All right, and then this last one. I'm just gonna do some there. And down here. And then those three on the bottom, let's add those. This video turned out longer than I wanted. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to keep them like short and simple. But I love to go live and do live craft with me. Showing you guys my entire process. All right, and there goes our little mini memmies. Aren't they adorable? I think I should add sequins to this too. I'm going to add some sequins to embellish it even further. But this is how it came out, you guys. And then I'm going to tie that bow back around there with a the seam binding, but I got to let this dry. And... Let me, sh let's see if this paint is dry on that little um, bowl that I painted. Gotta remember to top my glue up or else it'll dry up on me and I'm gonna be mad. Okay, so here goes our little box. Just imagine that we folded that, tied it. And then this is our cover. This little box is so cute, guys. It's another silhouette design store. Um, file yeah this is dry
Let's see how it looks. Am I loving it? It's cute. I think it adds a little something extra. So I'll add it with a little bit of hot glue. And then maybe I'll put a gem in the middle. I'm not sure. But that is it, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's um, Memory Decks card inspiration. Again, all the ladies will be linked down below, guys. Go check them out. Go leave them a comment. Tell them that I sent you over there. And then, so far, these are my projects, guys, for Memory Mondays. Let me know down below what you guys think, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week for week three. Bye, everyone.